we're not trying to talk at people. We want to connect with them and talk to them. There are many tools available to help us do that, and we will go through them in today's show. Welcome back to Year 3 of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Storey, Dale Carnegie franchise owner Tokyo, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 155, and we are talking about connecting with your audience like a demon. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. bestseller, Japan Sales Mastery, is the new bible of selling in Japan. To sell to Japanese buyers, you need to create long-term partner-level trust, fully understand Japanese buyers' real needs, convince buyers with your solutions, overcome their hesitation, fear, and doubt, know how to ask for the order, ensure repeat orders. This book is a product of 30 plus years in the trenches, selling in Japan. Order Japan Sales Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sorirewa ikimashou. So let's get going. Getting up in front of people is confronting for a lot of speakers. Beady eyes are boring into you. A sea of serious faces is scary. The lights are painfully bright and the pressure feels intense. You studiously avoid eye contact by staring down at your laptop screen or your notes. Or to leaven things up, you read the screen to the audience. By properly designing your presentation in the first place, you can release yourself from the laptop the main screen will be composed of a little bit of text and mainly images. These are images designed with the object of conveying the key points in two seconds. This means you're replacing text on the screen with oral word pictures delivered by you. This is so much more powerful. The slight advance of technology is pretty good these days and this frees you from having to be physically chained to the laptop. Now, you can move to the audience depending on the size of the occasion. The approach will be different. Let's assume a 30 person plus venue. You divide your audience space into six sectors like a baseball diamond. Left, middle, right field, then you can cut it in half so you have inner field, outer field. If the audience is smaller than 30 people then you probably have just left, right, front and back to work with. The point is to work the room. By engaging with your entire audience, make around six to eight seconds of eye contact with each individual in all those sectors. Do it randomly, unpredictably, to maintain interest. If you do it in a predetermined order, the audience will leave you because they are able to anticipate where your attention is focused. Once they know, they switch off and are easy prey to distractions like their phone and the internet. In a larger audience, one individual seated toward the back receives your eye contact, but 
the 20 people sitting around them all think you're making direct eye contact with them. In this way, you can continuously engage the entire group. If the stage area is smaller and the screen uh, occupies a good portion of the real estate, then don't walk in front of the screen if there's a projector involved. In very short order, you become the screen, and that is totally distracting for an audience. Now, you would think this was such an obvious point. However, we have all seen speakers do it. They are not aware of the projector in front of them, and they have lost the attention of their audience. In this case, stand on the audience left side of the projector. We read from left to right, so we want people to look at our face first and then look at the screen. Take control of your speaking environment. Get it properly organized beforehand. If you do, your audience will buy your message and they will remember you as a powerful and confident presenter. Someone they would like to hear from again in the future. Remember, this is how you build your personal brand. I hope you enjoyed today's show and so please subscribe on YouTube. Share with your family, friends and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcasts Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, every Monday, we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. And every Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday, we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 156, we're talking about bad attitudes impede us. Onigai Tashimas. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.